What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed your week. All right, guys, we got some more wonderful symbolism that I would like to point out to people, because if you watch the latest episode of The Simpsons, they love to put little hints in there for people who could pick up on them. Now, some of them are obvious, and some of them may not be, so I'm here to basically point these things out and show that whether people want to believe it in or not, whether they think it's crazy or not, there are messages being placed in code for people who can understand them. Now, I know to people that have, made, have never heard this stuff before, that's going to sound strange. But when you see when I point them out, you will see how they perfectly make sense. So if you haven't watched the latest uh, episode of The Simpsons, of course, there's going to be spoiler alerts. So you may want to watch it first if you don't want me to ruin anything. If you have, it just came out, obviously, this Sunday, because Simpsons are on, on Sundays. And since they're a very popular show, a lot of people are going to watch them. Gets the message out. Now, the first thing they talk about is basically very obvious. They're talking about fracking. Now, if anybody out there researches about fracking, it's basically what they're doing is, is they're basically trying to get out natural gas by pumping underneath, creating a fracking event, which gets the gas to come up to the surface. Now, the problem with that is it's lower most times than our drinking water. So when these gases come up, they're basically polluting our drinking water. There are many reports about this of towns that have basically water they can't drink, and you could literally light it on fire. So it's not a conspiracy theory. It's not something crazy. This is fact. They talk about this in the episode of The Simpsons. They also take the water and they light it on fire. Now, here's the part where most people may not get the symbolism. In the episode, you will see that Lisa Simpson calls on a, um, I think a senator for help. Could be a congressman. I'm not sure it's irrelevant. But it ends up, um, she ends up being a liberal, which of course you will see as a liberal Democrat left side. And they find out the person that's responsible for doing the fracking is uh, Montgomery Burns. Now, he is what they would consider a conservative, of a severely conservative Republican. And he goes and talks to this senator woman. We'll just call her a senator, because even if she's not, who cares? A, a, a government politician on the left, a liberal. He being a Republican, they start fighting each other. Next thing you know, they're dating, and they sleep together. Now, if you look at it as something symbol, symbolic, well, you have Republicans and Democrats in bed together and then you'll see after they sleep with each other they still go on with their routine where she goes on um, a news channel and broadcasts oh burns must be stopped and we have to put a stop to this so in other words what they're showing you through symbolism through the reality of what's going on in our government is even though you'll see when the cameras are on republicans and democrats will be fighting one another saying how much they hate each other but when the cameras are off and they're alone doing whatever they're doing, they're in bed together. In other words, they work together to basically screw the masses for profit. And you also show how, at first, um, they try and make it aware of the fracking and how it's damaging the ecosystem, and people are outraged. But all they had to do was throw $5,000 towards people, and everybody jumped on board. In other words, it shows that you feed people little trinkets. And they'll allow you to destroy their own ecosystem. So the only smart person in the show was Marge Simpson, who kept trying to um, get Homer to realize that, you know, yeah, $5,000 would be nice and it might help pay a bill or two, but you're permanently going to destroy our drinking water because you could light it on fire. And ultimately... In the end, they destroy the plant, preventing it from happening. And the what Homer says, what he supposedly learns is, well, fracking is good as long as it's in somebody else's yard. And that's what they want you to think about even when it comes to wars, when we're stealing other people's resources. As long as we're doing it somewhere else, then it's okay. But if it happens in your backyard, then you're going to have a problem with it. So it's a little bit deeper meaning than just the fracking there. And it's just amazing if you watch all these episodes, how they are relevant. I mean, if you look at the last Simpsons episode or the other week, when they were showing all the drones and they were talking about how people's privacy and then all of a sudden you see these police drones 
that are policing the people drones. In other words, police patrolling the people. And you see the people were just walking down a street making an, a quiet, peaceful protest. And you see the cops go and attack them. So they're not just talking about the drones, which obviously is a problem when you're talking about spying on people, even though not one part of the episode, they don't show any of the government drones that are secretly, you know, watching our steps and every moves. But you see more and more of movies talking about invasion of privacy. I mean, look at the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They're always talking about, and they even said it on the first Avengers movie, that if you have a cell phone, they have a way to trace anything on the planet. So they're ta openly talking about now, well, we could spy on you easily and we're not even embarrassed or ashamed to admit it anymore. So there's lots of hidden messages for people. So the, 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 the ignorant people, I'm not going to say dumb, because if you don't know something, you can't be dumb, you're ignorant. The ignorant masses just go to these movies and watch these TV shows and listen to this music just to be entertained. They don't want to know about the uh, the hidden kind of meanings behind them, or they just don't care, or they just think it's a crazy conspiracy theory. But if you see it time and time again, that is either one heck of a coincidence, or there's something else to it. I'm not here to make you decide in what direction you think that is. I'm here to point out things you may not have seen. So if you haven't watched the Simpson episode that just came out this Sunday, feel free to watch it. If you haven't watched the um, South Park episode with the drones, watch it. And when you see those things from another point of view and you see the deeper levels behind them, you can understand what they're trying, what messages they're trying to bring out. You have to get smarter. And I know a lot of people that come here are, but there's also the people that come here that will hate everything I say, thinking everything is some conspiracy theory crazy thing. Well, if they want to stay on a lower vibrational level where they have no room to grow ever and just stay angry and bitter, that's a choice. I hope you choose better. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments. Like if you've never subscribed to my channel before. We would love you to be here. All I ask is um, if you're going to leave comments, just do it respectfully because if you can't act like an adult, you're not going to be here long. And uh, don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. This is Chris. This is my channel, Barnon11970, and I'm sticking to it. Peace.